Prominent vlogger last night and a bit of bad nick I have to say and a bit of bad nick. But I wouldn't name the prominent vlogger, I'm not going to name him. Uh, uh, these are all for you essentially Harry Cole. Given that you're a Tory, you're massive, you've got huge opinions, I've got you used three glasses of wine, all for you. Cheers. Always pleasure. Party conference season isn't just about fringe meetings and speeches in the main hall. After dark, the parties begin. I'm outside the Midland Hotel, in inside the Conservative Party conference zone, to find out what's going on inside. When the booze is flowing, I think people are going to be a little bit more willing to, to let their hair down. The Scottish Whiskey Association is always, always, always dragging in the best crowd. The London Scottish threw a great party as well. The media stuff's great. Telegraph party, I heard someone had to... Black the wearing as Lord Cool, unbelievably. Uh, sort of I, don't, I deny all accusations there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found my first drink of the night. We're at the uh, Save the Children party, We're waiting for the Chancellor George Osborne to arrive any minute. Um, let's go and find some people to have a chat with. So, Archie, are you having a good time? Fantastic time. It's seriously good this fun. The, uh, what, what's the best party you've been to so far? The best party I've been to so far. That's very, very difficult. This one here last night, the Conservative Home last night one, was good fun. Yep. Um, and for me, it's just milling around, meeting people in the Midlands, in yeah. the actual main hall. So there's no particular parties. Lots of free booze. So, lots of free booze, which is always fun. Is that the best thing about conference? That is not the best thing about conference. <laughs> I know you're trying to get me into that one. Not the best thing about conference, no. But it's one of the best. But it's, <laughs> it's good fun. Have you good night, George. Let me head down tonight. Supporting Save the Children, a very, very good charity. Thank you very much. The best party of the week by far yeah. was the 1922 commission of course. party held with Conservative Home. Yeah, no. Up the top of the Hilton. Uh, absolutely. Did you have a sore uh, head, head the next day? Did you have a sore head the next day? Certainly not. But <laughs> I, uh, I was delighted to have been able to invite so many colleagues to Indeed. join me at uh, the best venue in my city. And the second best party after that was at Specky. Of course. <laughs> Cheers. So we've got Isabel Hardman from Politics Home. We've got Mark Wallace uh, from Crash Bang Wallace. Guys, have a good night? Yeah, very much so. Best very party of conference so far? It's always it's been a good very one. sober so far. Really? Yes, Disappointing everyone's very well behaved. Sober. Is that going to change later? I hope so. Am I heading in the right direction? By far the most exclusive party of the night is the spectator party. And uh, after David Cameron was pictured with one of these in his hands uh, a few years ago, they've uh, strangely banned cameras. So we're not, not allowed to film in there, but. Um, we try and get a few people coming in and out, and uh, it's very hard to crash. But um, I imagine a few people have succeeded, so we'll uh, try and see what their see what their tactics were. Kaz, you're really the expert on this, aren't I you? I can tell you what it was tonight. It was offering us a bribe in the form of showing us around their constituency yeah. headquarters. <laughs> So we've come outside of the secure zone to uh, check out the politics exchange party. It's, uh, you can hear it from across the street. It sounds like it's kicking off. Let's go inside and uh, see what's going on. They have, they're letting us film, which should be good. I've been to all three party conferences now, so back to back. Yeah. And uh, I like to kind of ramp. So Lib Dems kept a very low-key, didn't drink at all. Yeah. And then just a few dinners and things last week. And then here. Uh, I think it's a so much bigger event here, so yeah. it's worth going to be more. The, Tory, the Tories put on the best parties then? Yeah, I guess that is probably true. I'm not sure if it's a fringe event or a music festival. We've got our wristbands on. Security is quite tight, but we're in, so uh, let's go and have a chat. This is a lovely party. I've got to say, the party of the conference, I don't know who hosted it, but had a nice window out to a balcony. That which was that? Which, uh, which last night we decided to have a little race around the Midland on the balcony before policemen look very scared because <laughs> I think we're about a floor below the Prime Minister. Have you seen the art yet, Harry? I haven't yet. Are you going to give me a guided tour? The 18th century. How much could we learn from the 18th century? You tell me, mate. How much did they build? The Victorians, how much did they do? Yeah. What are we doing these days? Very little. Boozing. We are boozing, it's true. Harry, more power to your elbow. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Yeah. And what, they're, what they're always struggling with with this kind of volume of people is the creativity of the booze <laughs> and the extent of the body heat and odour issue. Nice. And that's, that's always nice going to touch. be the challenge for yeah. them. So, Are you having a good night? Yeah. Any night. gossip? Uh, no, no, I'd leave that to you. Pulling an all-nighter? Until 5am, it's hard work actually. I know. Trying to work, it's a tough life at conference, isn't it? Trying to work for a better future takes a lot of work. <laughs> and that means working non-stop through the night to make sure that our children get the best future we can possibly get after the debt that Labour left All right. them. All right, we'll leave it at that. Thanks, mate. <laughs> well, I think the, uh, the Policy Exchange choice of music has been a bit disappointing. Yeah? Too much 80s, not enough, well, anything that wasn't the 80s. Is that, is that the theme thing of the night, back to the 80s? Back to the 80s, well, yeah, it could perhaps be. the Policy Exchange, I'm not sure about the conference. Could, yeah. Well, I did enjoy the spectator party, but this is very good as well. Any gossip? 
Oh, come Not on. for you. I bet there's a little bit. Uh, anyway, see you later. I think I will uh, go to Subway <laughs> and get a sandwich. Good because man. in true conference style, I've had nothing to eat since about, well, yesterday. So things are wrapping up in there. It's probably the most lively of the parties. I think the dancing was just about getting going as, as we left. But um, it's a good party, great venue. I'm not sure about the, uh, the wine. I think I've drunk all the warm, slightly uh, cheap white wine I could possibly have for a lifetime. But um, head back to the main conference zone. It's, it's getting late. I'd imagine there's uh, a few people having uh, some nightcaps. We'll uh, go and see, what they're, go see if they're uh, ready to have a real chat yet. I saw Brendan Barber get jumped by Guido and some <laughs> others. That was quite am uh, amusing, uh, I think, for all concerned. Did the Prime Minister put his face in or was he slaving away upstairs in his speech? Um, there were several cabinet ministers. I think arrived after the uh, Prime Minister was uh, there. Have Last year, I did notice yeah. that cabinet ministers were very loath to, to, to be seen mm. with champagne glasses. And I actually saw one cabinet minister transfer the contents of his champagne glass to a wine glass so it would look as though he yeah. was drinking wine because they just didn't want to be photographed quaffing champagne Fair as enough. the economy was so going up in flames. That's, gone out, that's gone out the window this year. Yeah, they, they don't yeah. care. They're, they're just they're chuffing away. Well, the night is waning in. I'm partied out. Um, it's all about the Midland bar now. That lot will be drinking to the wee hours. Prime Minister's speech is tomorrow, but um, I don't think this lot are going to be going to bed any time soon. My car has arrived. Um, I share it with the Prime Minister, but he let me borrow it for tonight. So. Good night.